this perimeter of the well pad. Two projects will produce the crude oil, that's the Kingfisher project and the Tilenga project. So those two projects will produce oil and this produced oil will be commercialized through two other projects. The East African Crude Oil Pipeline that will run from here, Hoima, to Tanzania to export crude oil. And then the Uganda Refinery Project that will be used to process our crude oil into petroleum products for use. Il est bien mérachel, manyachin, Ubino, uduni paka kuni zwa wakuar kudutu. I believe a lot of the issues being raised by the activists are out of either misinformation or deliberate disinformation. Because as government and the project partners, we have taken deliberate steps to ensure that the oil and gas projects are developed sustainably We've uh, taken care of the environment and biodiversity concerns. We are also ensuring that the livelihoods of the communities surrounding these operations are improved alongside uh, the development of the projects. We are compelled by the law to make sure that we monitor our activities here. Every three months, I didn't mention to you that we have 11 monitoring wells. In layman term, you can call it um, the boreholes. They were drilled around this facility and we picked the water sample from them. The lowest, the, 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 the deepest being 65 meters, the shallowest being 9. So we pick water sample all around this facility. We do analysis every three months and report to the regulators. Construction facility. We shall get some water from Lake Albert. And then oils in the south of the Victoria Nile also are connected by pipeline of the Victoria Nile and also on the south of the Victoria Nile. So as far as we are aware right now, we do not have any claims from Congo as, uh, in, in as far as this project is concerned. Because we have not, there is no evidence right now that our resources actually cross the border. If that happens, we have a mechanism through which we shall 
be able to develop our field. And those three mechanisms I've mentioned are options that we have at the table. It's always at the discretion of the countries to negotiate and find what is best for us to be able to employ.